So I'm recapping here. I um, had some recording issues, partly in the wind and partly because um, just fumbling with the um, the stand for the for my phone for the camera and all that. I I turned off the recording uh, at hole 14. So I'm by the time I'm done editing, I'm just gonna do holes one through nine. So this is like a recap of holes 10 through through 18. Uh, the first three or four holes were really tough in the wind, just like really, really brutal. Uh, 10 is only a 250 foot hole, uh, kind of straight on, but the wind was right, right at me and uh, really kind of screwed it up. I managed to par it because it's just a short enough hole, but man, it was, uh, it, I should have been able to birdie that hole, frankly. Uh, 11 is a little long, longer going the other direction. I tried throwing a roller, which the wind messed that up, but I still got close enough to just throw a, a short approach and then a putt for a par. So 11 was easy to par. 12 is a almost a 600 foot wide open hole. I threw a decent first shot with my scorch, got to the top of the hill. And then I threw a pretty good, what I thought was a pretty good um, second shot with my, uh, what is it, a Star Destroyer. Uh, it, hyzered, it went out over the field and then hyzered back in and it kind of looked neat. Distance wise, it wasn't great. The wind was a factor. Uh, and then I had what I would call like a, an approach putt. Like it was, a, I thought it was makeable. I overshot it with my zone. Um, ended up behind a tree, had to kind of, I, I almost had a chance to make the coming back, but I missed the comeback. So I ended up taking a five on a hole that I, I de if I had just played like a safe shot on my approach, I would have had an easy par. So that was dumb. Hole 13 is crazy. Hole 13 is like almost 700 feet long. And at the end, it has this hard taper to the right behind some protective hills and stuff. It's actually a neat hole. Awful, awful hole for the wind, though. The wind was just blistering right across it today. And so I took a, uh, e, I mean, it was, it was a no-brainer five. My, at, by my third shot, I thought I was in real trouble. But I hit a really nice um, uh, Anheuser... Uh, turn in from with my keystone so I had like a nice little understable turn in and landed within putting distance I made my putt so I saved a five I had to really scramble to get that five though the first three shots I was like man it felt like I was forever away but it, it was all right whole uh, that was whole 13 whole 14 I actually thought I birdied but it turns out it was a par three which as a par three is an unbirdieable hole in my opinion um i got up i had to make a long distance uh putt for three even and i was like man that's awesome i just made it because i made a bomb of a second shot my first shot was just all right probably my best throw of the day was the second shot on, on hole 14 i just it was a perfect throw with the scorch exact flight that you want as much distance as i've ever had and it landed soft, but it still had, you know, like a 25 foot in the bad wind. So I, um, I, I, I actually made a pretty tough putt uh, for a three on that hole. And it ended up only being for par. That was ridiculous. And then it got a lot easier for the next few holes. So on um, 14 short, 275, I threw a perfect shot with my essence I had a birdie uh, I would say a very makeable birdie shot that I just barely missed so in for par no problem um, that was 15 no that was yeah that was 15 16 oh 16 the 284 no it was a 320 foot hole and I threw a bomb another bomb with my scorch that kind of went out to the right and and then came back in hyzered out and I gave myself a really makeable birdie putt again, like 20 footer. I ended up just barely missing it though. I, um, I, I mean, I put it right at the post, but uh, so I, that was another easy par, but I was really happy with that tee shot. That one might've been, 
that was my best tee shot for sure. And that, again, with the scorch. So uh, uh, that that was great. I felt very good about that. My tee shot on 15, by the way, with that essence was awesome. So I had four holes in a row, three holes in a row, where I felt like boom, boom, boom. I was like really starting to light it up. Uh, 17, 17 made me mad. So 17, I threw, it's a straight 280 shot, just like straight down. Man, the parking lot is full at uh, the Gulch. There must be a lot of people playing today. It's pretty windy. The Gulch is a good course. But anyways, um, I, th I threw a really decent shot with my, it's a boss. It's like a 158 gram boss. It was tailwind, and I got a really good throw uh, and an okay kick. And it was an uphill putt. Again, another should have been birdie for me. And I missed the birdie putt. It was actually pretty elevated. The pin was actually from, from down below because the pin's up on top of a, or the basket's up on top of a hill. And I landed at the bottom of the hill. So I would say it's like uh, maybe 10 feet in the air from where I was standing. Uh, and I overshot it by just a, maybe a foot or two. So that will, again, so what I was mad about is I should have had, I had four birdie chances that were very makeable in a row and ended up uh, making pars on those. So uh, on all of them, I didn't get a single birdie on those, those birdie uh, four, uh, four holes. Uh, I thought I had one that was, it turned out it wasn't. So uh, I ended up shooting a plus two, uh, by the way, 18 is a tough hole, very long. I had my, and, and very narrow, very long and very narrow. It was about almost 340 feet, 50 feet, and but very narrow. And my my approach shot was okay, uh, shorter than I wanted. I'm sorry, my, uh, my tee shot. My approach was fantastic though. So again, I ended up par parring that. So I took a bogey on 13, I took a bogey on 12, a plus two so that was actually it, considering how hard the wind was and how much I felt like I was scrambling I'm actually not mad at that at all and I went back over my nine hole uh, front nine I, I ended up with two birdies on the front nine uh, it should be in the footage um, I'll double check that to, for accuracy so don't hold me to it if, if, I, if that's inaccurate but the um, I think I was plus five. Let's see, uh, hole four kicked me in the nuts. Hole five was not great. Hole six was, oh, that's that one that's got a ton of guardian trees. I had a great first throw, crappy second throw, missed my putt, I took another bogey there. So I was plus four through six. Seven, I got a birdie. Eight, uh, oh, eight, I got, I threw two errant tee shots. Eight was a bad hole. Eight, I took a, a um, I didn't write that down right. I didn't score that right. Eight, I th threw, should have thrown for my first, th first disc. So I'm going to give myself a bogey for eight. Um, bogey on four, double bogey on four, bogey on five. Double bogey on four, bogey on five, bogey on six, so that's four, birdie on seven is three, bogey on eight is four, and then par nine. So I was plus four on, on the front and plus two on the back. So that's really not bad. That's really not bad. Par, par, par. Only one birdie the whole day. Only one birdie the whole day. That stinks. Overall fun. It was a lot windier than I thought it was going to be. That was a little frustrating. Um, I, I threw a few of my best shots I've ever thrown, which is always encouraging. I got to work on keeping it. If I can keep the, the disc going nose down and like low trajectory I throw so much better shots when I do that I know uh, cliche right but if I get it locked it up I lose a lot so I really need to keep working on that uh, anyways 
So I'll you'll have the footage for for uh, holes one through nine. I'm gonna try to edit it up a little bit, and then I'm not gonna even put up. I only had footage from ten through thirteen, or halfway through thirteen, and it's not even worth posting. So I don't think. All right.